I just checked to see when the last time I filmed a book haul was to make sure I wasn't giving you doubles of any of these and it was February so I have no idea how I'm going to be able to take a thumbnail with all of these books but I guess we're going to try. Welcome to a massive book haul. Welcome back or if you are new here, welcome. My name is Katrina and I make bookish content here on this channel every week and then move reviews or book to movie content here at the weekend. Um, I will leave my most recent book haul linked up above um, but a few of the books that I'm going to talk about in this video I have talked about on the channel as well so I'll be linking those throughout too. I thought what a perfect time to do a book haul. I just went to a mega book event this past week so I've got a, a haul from that and then also people are looking for Christmas gift ideas so if I'm showing you books here that I've read and enjoyed or I'm excited to read if they're coming out soon um, then you might want to know about those. Um, so yeah let's start with the books that I got from the Simon & Schuster Books and the City event which was last week on Tuesday. Very exciting first in-person book event from them since 2020. I wasn't at the 2020 event um, but I went to one I realised was back in 2018 was the last time I was there so it was four years since I was there and this past couple of weeks ago on Facebook a memory popped up to say it was 10 years ago since I went to my first Simon & Schuster book event so that shows you how long I have been blogging about books so I have these ones in a bag <laughs> what I brought back with me this is not the bag that they provided me with um, however I sort of sorted them out at school and things so sorry about the crinkles um, so first of all one that I'm very excited to be reading and probably will be featuring on my December TBR we have Seven X's by Lucy Vine this one comes out on the 25th of May 2023 um, but it's basically uh, to do with the fact that people have seven different types of X's and people realizing that um, they can kind of they can date these seven X's before finding the one it sounds fantastic she read the prologue out to us at the um, book event and it was it was great and she signed my copy for me and I'm going to be budding reading this with the lovely Hayley and you can also see my henna tattoo that I got at the book event as well so if you unless you've already turned off because you think my fingers just filthy um, but yeah really really excited seven x's by lucy vine um lucy vine's writing is always like rom-com but definitely on the com side it makes me laugh out loud and i do have a standalone book review of um her most recent release that i absolutely loved um so i will leave that linked up above i think this was like two years ago it came out it was the ultimate pride month read i felt like um, then we also got to hear from Lauren Bravo about her book Pre-Loved. April 2023 um, is when this one is coming out. Unsure of the date in April. Um, and I got this one signed. The date's probably right there on that inside. 27th of April 2023. A love story about things. Gwen is coasting through life. She's in her mid-30s, perpetually single. Her friends are busy procreating in the countryside and conversations with their parents it seems to revolve entirely around the council's wheelie bin timetable and she's lonely but then isn't everyone when decides to start where all things get a second chance her local charity shop there with the help of the weird and wonderful people and the donated items bursting with untold stories Gwen will find a way to move forward with bravery tenacity and more regular dental care so I'm very very excited and yeah I was just reading the back there this proof is 100% recyclable and I love that so uh, pre-loved by Lauren Bravo 27th of April 2023 excited to read that one and it was great to hear the extra that Lauren Bravo read out at the event too. Um, so the other one, the, the other person that I met at the book event that I have a copy of their book is um, Ava Verde and this is Lives Like Mine by Ava Verde which is already out. However, I haven't read this one yet and she was talking about her book which is coming out next year which is called In Bloom and read us a bit of a sample from that one um, and that features a main character called De Delphinium, hence why it's called In Bloom. So I'm very excited about that one. But I also heard about Lives Like Mine in last year's showcase that was entirely on zoom and so I picked this up and got her to sign uh, this one as well which was very exciting 
Um, Monica is living a family life she always longed for, playing the grateful housewife to a good man, creating a happy home for their children and always trying to please others. But between ignoring her in-laws' barely concealed racist remarks and pushing aside thoughts of her own estranged parents, she is close to breaking point. With the children now in school, Monica finds herself wondering if this is all there is. Couldn't she be doing something more? Shouldn't she feel more than this? A chance encounter at the school gate might be just the shock that she will re that sh that will redefine her future and transform her every day into something better. So that's Lives Like Mine by Ava Verde. I believe this one came out in hardback first and now it's out in paperback, but I just love this cover. And hearing her talk about In Bloom, which is out in 2023, was also fabulous. And then we received some um, other goodie bags, other goodies in our goodie bags and so I thought I would share those with you. So this one is coming out February 2023, um, not sure the date in February 2023, um, but this is This Could Be Everything by Ava Rice. Yes, we have two books by Ava's here. Um, this is from The Lost Art of Keeping Secrets. Um, in 1990, the Happy Mondays are in the charts. So A 15 year old Kate Moss is on the cover of Face Magazine and Julia Roberts wears thigh high boots in the poster of a new movie called Pretty Woman. February Kingdom is 19 years old when she's knocked sideways by family tragedy. Then one evening in May, she finds an escaped canary in her kitchen and it sparks a glimmer of hope within her. With the help of the bird called Yellow, Feb starts to feel her way out in her own of her own private darkness. Just as her aunt embarks on a passionate and all-consuming affair with a married American drama teacher, it's a coming of age story. Love that. Um, and I really like the cover of this one. So this is quite a chunky proof. Um, however, it is quite large font. So that's exciting. Um, this one is February 2023. This could be everything by Ava Rice. Um, so Ava wasn't at the event, but I still got the book, which is exciting. And then um, this one, I believe, is already out. Yes, so this one is To Hate Adam Connor by Ella Mays or Maisie. Um, there's a sexy actor living next door. Wouldn't you take a peek? Adam Connor is an award-winning actor, undeniable heartthrob. He's also recently divorced. The single dad and he happens to be right next door. And it might just be rude to stare, but Lucy just can't help it. The ladder might have been a little much though. One night when she's <laughs> indulging in her stalker side, Lucy sees something terrible but has no choice but to intervene. She has the best of intentions but Adam can't see past it and has her arrested. What? Um, after that night, they're sworn enemies even though Adam knows he actually owes Lucy a lot and she can't pretend she doesn't find the hot dad act quite appealing. Um, so this sounds fabulous. We didn't hear anything about this book at the event but this was in my goodie bag. Um, and then if you look here, I so this one if it sort of focuses on that at all no um this one is to love jason thorne also by the same writer and i've seen that one um on the shelves in tesco and so it sounds like a very fun rom-com um so those are the books that i got at the um books in the city simon and schuster showcase event looking at what's coming out next year now let's go on to some more books that are already out slash you may have already seen me talk about but I haven't hauled for you yet. So firstly I have three books which were also sent to me by Simon and Schuster. The first of these is Three is a Crowd by Simon Brooker um, and this one I have reviewed over on my blog um, but the basic premise of this one is that it's a love triangle between a father, a son and another woman um, and this one was really funny and sort of went deeper than I expected and it just came out in um, paperback in I want to say either September or October I can't remember and so I was sent a copy because I was part of the blog tour so I will leave my blog linked always in the description box and all of these books will also be linked in the description box as well but you can read my review of that one there um, then I won a giveaway over on Twitter and so I got sent a copy of Good Taste by Caroline Scott um, a delicious treat of a novel. Good taste is not to be trifled with. Now, Caroline Scott, I have read a couple of books by her that were to do with, that's other books falling over there, that were to do with soldiers and war. Um, and so I hadn't heard of this one at all, um, but this, um, would any housewife in your region be kind enough to share a traditional recipe with which she may be acquainted? 
Is there a favourite pie made by your grandmother? A cake that you fondly recall from childhood? A dish that's particular to your village? Perhaps a great aunt left you a handwritten book of her recipes? This knowledge and these flavours have been passed down to us through generations, but an urgent effort is required to collect and catalogue these dishes. If you're able to assist with this task, you will be doing great service. Please correspond with the address below. I will great, great fully acknowledge all contributions stella douglas author of the marvelous mrs raffold um and then so obviously this is about um her england 1932 and the country in the grip of the great depression to lift the spirits of the nation stella douglas is tasked with writing a history of food in england so this is already out as well and I did win this copy but I thought I would continue with my Simon & Schuster books and then I was also sent a proof copy that I actually downloaded the audiobook of because I thought it sounded interesting. Um, this one came out in April. Um, so this is um, The Vanished Days by Susanna Kearsley um, and this is just the proof copy so we don't have the full cover but the full cover does have these flowers on and is this kind of peachy colour. A sweeping, sweet, sweeping, sweeping love story set against the Jacobite revolution from the much loved author Susanna Kearsley and it says there are many who believe they know what happened but they do not know the whole of it. Not all the truth should be told and again oh here we go here's the cover for you. Again, the um, this is quite a chunky one, um, but I did download the audiobook, so it's uh, just over 500 pages. Woo! Um, but I was sent this as a proof copy for review, um, so look out for that coming at some point, hopefully early 2023, since I have an audiobook copy of it. Um, and now on to some books which you have already seen featured in videos, but I haven't officially hauled here for you. As I say, they, everything will be linked down below. So I got this um, Waterston Special Edition copy of The Family Remains by Lisa Jewell, which I have talked about here on the channel. This is the Yellow Spreads Edition it is a um, signed exclusive and then it has these wonderful end pages as well and the family remains is of course the follow-up to the family upstairs by lisa jewel and i have got a whole standalone review video on this channel so i will leave that linked up above for you i will also leave it linked in the description box along with um the uh, links for the books and the links to that other review that i just mentioned and then another one which i made a standalone video of but haven't officially hauled the book this is probably aside from that collection at the beginning, my latest book that I've bought. This of course is The Christmas Wish by Lindsay Kelk and this is also a special edition. Um, if you follow my Instagram, which is linked down below as well, you will have seen the beauty of this one shared on there. Firstly, we have brilliant end pages again and then we have the gorgeous nakedness that is the hardback um, and the spine, that foil on the spine there as well. Um, and I love this book and I have a whole standalone review. I also have my Lindsay Kelp playlist so you can check that out. But this would make, either of these would make fantastic presents if you're looking for an extra little something to buy or a stocking stuffer for somebody in your life. And both of these are both out in the UK and the US right now. So if you're watching not in the UK, rest assured that they're both out there. And then I definitely talked a little bit about these books in my summer book events video um, so if you haven't seen that one if I've got enough li links I'll leave it here or in the end screen um, but I read and bought and enjoyed The Love of My Life by Rosie Walsh and I went to a book event with um, her and with Eve, Eve, Ch Eve Chase sorry, it's over here, is that book, I've got them dotted all around me, um, and got this book at the book event, and then, of course, got it signed, um, I love Rosie Walsh, um, and of course, she wrote The Man Who Didn't Call, or if you are watching this in the US, that was called Ghosted there, I have the US copy of Ghosted, um, it's not on my shelves, I have another book, and there's a lot of my, another box of books, and there's a lot of special editions in there, and I haven't managed to uncover it yet, so I'm hoping it made it over, because my, all my copies of Wonder are in there as well, but anyway, I got a nice hard, nice hardback edition of this one, because I read this one via audiobook, I actually had an audio review copy of this one, and so again, I have reviewed this one on the blog, 
and I did show you a little bit from that footage of the um, book event that I went to in Abingdon Bookshop in the summer. So that was a very exciting, if hot, book event. And then I do have some poetry books to show you in a moment. But first of all, that other book that I got at that book event, this is The Birdcage by E. Chase, which I have also read. And I think I posted a review of this one on my blog. Now I come to think of it, I'm not sure. I feel like I have. Um, and she signed that one there for me as well. Um, and so, yeah, I got these two at that book event in the summer. Lovely, lovely hardbacks, signed hardbacks. Um, and if you haven't seen that video, as I say, I will leave it linked somewhere for you. Um, and then another Spreadges edition for you before I go on to talk about the poetry books. This one is Girl Crush by Florence Given. Now, I have started listening to the audio of this one and I'm not gelling with it like a million percent. So I might switch to reading the hardback because I think this is definitely one of those I would like to manage to finish reading by the end of the year so look out for this one being the second half of it being on my December TBR um, but it's a lovely Spredges edition it's got this like holographic cover with the glitter lip as well um, and I did pre-order this from Waterstones and then wasn't able to um, it is signed as well that gorgeous little insert there um, and then yeah they I pre-ordered it it never showed up so I bought it in store instead and it's the naked book for me it's just, it's just divine, isn't it? It is calling out to be photographed with a lush bath bomb, isn't it? Need to read this one in the bath with a lush bath bomb that's got that similar swirliness to it. That would be amazing. Maybe that would give me the impetus to finish reading it. And then finally, we have whew, down here, my poetry books. Um, two, uh, one of these actually uh, should have taken this sticker off, but I grabbed while I was in Target uh, when I was back in Denver in May half term. Um, and this one is Watering the Soul by Courtney Pepinell. I haven't read this one yet, but I do have a video talking about the whole Pillow Thought series by Courtney Pepinell, which I absolutely loved and definitely kind of soothed me and helped me through like the very early stages of lockdown and covid and everything i listened to one of those every night and just sort of helped calm me down so i love a bit of courtney pepinol and um watering the soul i'm sure will be absolutely fabulous um i was gonna say there's there's normally illustrations in her books let me find there's one here there you go that's all you need really. Uh, and then speaking of um, poetry and poetry that I've read by other authors, I got a proof copy of These Are The Words by Nikita Gill. Now I got a proof copy from the book event I went to with The Love Of My Life and The Birdcage with um, Rosie Walsh and Eve Chase. Um, and this was just in the goodie bag from that book event. Um, however, I've tabbed it up because I also had a review copy of the audiobook of this one. And so I've been listening to that and tabbing it up and that's been really enjoyable this one is her first YA collection so it's a little bit different but what's really nice is in here there are kind of mantras for self-love and like poems like for when you hate your body <coughs> and also um specifically for sort of younger women and younger girls but just sort of young people in general you know for when you're hurting and different poems in there so this isn't the finished copy but it looks something like this again a bit more iridescent in there and then again I've got stickers on them but I think most of these the stickers have been on so long by the time I bought them that they were just stuck on there so this one is validate me which is a signed edition um, and was reduced in Waterstones but it is a Spreadges edition and it's by Charlie Cox and I read um, uh, Charlie Cox like a couple of years ago I want to say but somehow um, this one that I, well, it's called She Must Be Mad, the other one I read, by the way. Um, but because this one <coughs> was on my TBR anyway, it was a no-brainer to buy it. I think if I'd just seen the special edition, I would have gone ahead and bought it. But this one um, was also reduced. So that's very exciting. So there you have it, a bit of a mixed bundle. Some books that I was sent, some books that I bought, some books that I've already reviewed for you. And then finally, 
some poetry books by some authors that I already know that I love. Um, let me know in the comments if you've read any of these, which of these you're particularly interested in, um, especially those ones which are coming out next year. Are you excited about any of those in particular? And make sure that you are subscribed because I will mention at least a couple of these on my December TBR, so you're not going to want to miss out on that one. If you have anything in particular you would like to see me do for Vlogmas this year, let me know in comments as well because I'm always open to suggestion. Did you enjoy the kind of like weekly vlogs that I did last year? Would you prefer something shorter or do you not watch Vlogmas content? Let me know. Um, but yes, I will be back with another movie review for you very soon. So hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on that one. And I will see you um, my next video, bookish video, maybe that December TBR. Thank you so much for watching.